What's up guys, welcome back to another episode. As you can see from the title, today we're officially showing you guys how to install your V1 uh, STI wing on your 22 WX. Uh, Kevin here is gonna take over today because he is the skilled master installing these. If you guys bought your car to Elite Wraps, he's the one installing this. So he'll show you guys uh, how to install and fully assemble one first and then installing on our uh, VV over there. Our customer actually, he actually came over to their shop last week or two weeks ago with the eBay wing and I'll try a picture to see how it looks like. And then we're gonna show you the difference between ours and what you're paying for pretty much essentially. Uh, they're going with a gloss black color because uh, a lot of people actually want the gloss black color because a lot of contrast with, especially with the cladding and whatnot. But uh, we'll go over that in, the, in a bit, but Kevin's gonna show you how to assemble and what you'll be receiving the kit today and how to put it together. All right, uh, today I'm gonna go over how to assemble the wing because apparently people keep breaking bolts and studs. So first off, uh, let's look over what's supplied. You have your six pieces for the spoiler to form into one. You have the template to lay out the holes where to drill and the supplied hardware where it comes with the weather stripping as well as the nuts and bolts and washers and crush washers to prevent it from the bolts backing out. All right, uh, so first off, we're gonna start assembling the wing. Doesn't matter which side, take a base plate. It's like putting together Legos, honestly. Just take your time. Next, you take the side plate and you screw in the studs. They're open and studs. Uh, make sure when you screw it in, you screw it in with the solid side in and the open side out because that's where you're gonna, that's how you tie in the stud down. So you just twist it in as such. I've already hand tied these. Next, I'm gonna tie it a little tighter. Usually I do about three spins, uh, just so it's deep enough. And when you put the spoiler together with the, the side plate, the screws will protrude out enough. So, one, two. So after you have these studs all screwed in, next is the assembly part. So you take the end plate, put it together with the top and you'll see how much the screw sticks in. So the order of which you put the washers and nuts in would be the shiny washer, then next the crush washer, and then the supplied 10 mil. You wanna just put everything hand tight first and then uh, tying it all afterwards. So with the supply 10 mil, or you can use your own 10 mil, uh, tying these um, nuts down but make sure when you're tightening them down um, usually the stopping point would be where the crush washer looks flat uh, anything more might actually damage you might actually pull the stud out so you still want to be kind of mindful of how much you tie in these so the general rule is as long as the crush washer looks almost flat or flat th um, that's usually a good stopping point so you just take your time and tie in the nut down so you see this crush washer is actually almost flat now. So it's actually near the full tightening already. Cause honestly, you do not need to tighten these spoilers super, super tight, but you know, tight enough. When you're tightening and you hear uh, like cracking, cracking, creak, creaking noises, <laughs> it's, it's way too tight. It does take some time to assemble these spoilers. Yeah. Work. I like to put the weather stripping along the, the edge over here just to help seal it from um, just water, rain, any kind of, any type of liquids. So you start from one end. I usually like to start at the more pointy end just because um, it's really hard to make the curve for it. So I usually do these in two pieces. And then tear it here. Uh, I'm gonna go over the tools required for this install. Uh, first, you're gonna need a drill, a three mil Allen key, a 10 mil wrench. Uh, this is a supplied one, but I modified it. Uh, this is a 732 uh, drill bit. Uh, this is a, a cone drill bit. So you, it has multiple sizes depending on how far you go in. Uh, this is a three quarters um, hole drill. So pretty much you make your center hole and then um, it'll drill right through for a three quarters inch hole and a flat head. So from the install, uh, we're going to install only three of the four holes. This hole actually lines up right behind where the trunk hinges. Uh, it's not 100% necessary to install it, but if you want extra support, it's, it's there for you. Uh, so, but in order to do this screw hole, 
you would have to remove the trunk off the car. I've already gone ahead and taped up the trunk to prevent any um, more scratches than necessary. Uh, it's super easy. I laid, I, I have an uh, inch and a half tape and I just laid four strips. Um, and so I'm first gonna mock the wing onto the car just to give myself an idea of how it's gonna look. Just by having it sit on the, uh, the edge right now, everything looks like it fits really, really good. So once it's fully secured down, so currently it's a little up right now because of the weather stripping holding it up. But once it's all screwed down, it should sit pretty flush overall, which it does. Now that I've inspected everything and liking what I'm seeing so far, next you will need the supply template. Uh, after you have cut it out, the edges, uh, you just lay it along the trunk. Uh, after lining up the template, you'll see the holes of where you need to drill out. Uh, but in this install, we're not gonna install this hole, which lines up with the trunk latch. In order to install that fourth hole, you would have to take the trunk off. Um, it will give you a little more support, but honestly, it's not 100% necessary. With the, after you have your trunk liner off, uh, next is marking the spots and eventually drilling. So, First off, when lining it up, uh, another reason why you want to tape up everything is so you can just easily mark the spot. Uh, with the template lined up at the very corner, you mark your other three spots. One, two, and three. And now next, onto the other side. It's neat that they come out with one template. First off, your holes are gonna be matching from left to right 100% because you're using the exact same template. When you actually have multiple templates, potentially your holes could be ever so slightly off and it'll still line, the, the spoiler will still go on, but after you have everything mounted, your spoiler might sit millimeters forward or back because you use two different templates. So it's always best to use a single template because this is, it's symmetrical. The trunks from left to right is fully symmetrical. A 732 drill bit onto the drill. Uh, just medium speed, it doesn't matter. Uh, take your time to do this. If you apply more force than necessary, uh, you will still get through the trunk, but the issue with that is um, you're gonna eventually dent the spot because you're ap applying a lot of force into the metal and the metal does flex. So it's always best to just take your time at this, make sure you double check your measurements and such. Okay, one hole down, five more to go. I like to go one by one to get the holes all the way across. Uh, so first, I'm gonna start at the bottom hole. It's the easiest one. Uh, you, you're gonna have to just drill all the way through. But I like to drill all the way through like when the trunk's up so I can see uh, when it actually does go through. Because if you drill all the way down and let it go all through, you can actually damage the weather strip. So it's best to do it this way. Just to make it easier, um, I like to go back onto the other side and drill all through just so I can work on each hole together just so it's a little easier because then once you get one side, it's kind of muscle memory to go back on the other side to do the same thing. So in this install, the, the hardest hole to drill out is going to be this hole, uh, because where it comes out, it comes out through right here somewhere. So with this hole, you can actually drill from with the trunk closed all the way down. With this hole, make sure you drill as straight as possible down. So there's the hole. And then with the other tool, the three quarters hole drill. This is why it's important to make sure your holes are straight and all the way through, because this is gonna be the most intensive hole that you're gonna be making. The, the most difficult hole of the bunch to make. Once the hole's all the way through, it looks like that. <coughs> straight through. Wow. Smells like metal. Yeah. <laughs> I'm using the cone. Drill. So I'm gonna start off with the bottom hole just to make it bigger. Currently I have the two outside holes done. Uh, for this one, 
what I do is from inside the trunk, you can see the hole already. Uh, normally what I would do is I would put a hole right here first, drill a circle out, and then move on. And you should be seeing the hole expose after you make this hole bigger or make a hole right here. That's pretty much what you need to do. Now that I have all the holes drilled, um, I'm going to make the holes uniform. So I'm going to make the holes all to 3 8 I have 3 8 at the end of the tape, so I know when to stop. I can start removing the, the tape. So to put together hardware, you take the bolt, the crush washer, and then the washer itself. And then you'll take your 10 mil and spin it on in. But you're gonna have to, you're gonna need a you're gonna need an extra set of pair of hands uh, to help you hold the spoiler up while you mount everything. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Not bad, boy. All right, guys. So um, this is our cameraman, by the way. I'm uh I'm right here. <laughs> so it's just letting you know. You see this logo right here? That's Aeroflow. Okay, you know you might Aeroflow. Look, there's actually a lot of fake stuff on the market too. Like a lot of stuff, um, lifetime warranty on the cracks or anything like that, you know? So if you any questions, make sure to hit us, hit up our sales team and uh, back to the install video. So now that I have all the spoiler all mounted, I mounted it with three bolts instead of the all four. Uh, as you can see, one, two, three, and then there's no other bolt back here, which normally it would be back here. So in order to do that fourth bolt, the trunk must come off. Uh, but let's take a look at the spoiler. I'm wiggling it, super solid, uh, no gap. Um, so honestly, the fourth bolt is totally optional and you guys can see it for yourself. I'm wiggling the spoiler and the whole car is shaking actually. So it's actually fully securely mounted and with only the three bolts on each side. So the fourth, like I said, uh, the fourth bolt's not necessary, but if you want the extra, the extra support, it's there for you. But don't forget, you have to remove the trunk. Once you have your cover back on, the only holes you see are the two end ones. All right guys, so here is the installation of the V1 uh, wing. If you're interested, link is in the bio below. Um, I personally love the gloss black. Personally, on all the colors, you don't have to get color match, but if you don't like color match, the black on black, black <laughs> everywhere, the whole thing is color match pretty nicely. Even if you have the color match flares, which will be available soon, it'll look really great. Um, if you want the color match, we have color match available. As you can tell, the fitment is perfect. It's no gaps or anything like that. Um, Kevin did an excellent job, so uh, if you have any questions, you know, if you want to get installed by Kevin, uh, hit up Yuli Wraps right here. They're, they do all the installations for the VB stuff. And then um, that's it. If you have any questions on any other installations you want to know, comment below, let us know. We'll go ahead and um, bang out some bomb ass videos. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for <laughs> subscribing. Make sure you hit that like button, okay? And then, um, oh, by the way, uh, VB Meet. 100k, 100k giveaway. Oh yeah, 100 100k giveaway? <laughs> we just get every single video we're gonna talk about. All right, I guess uh, 100k, <laughs> we're, we're, what are we gonna give away, 100k? All right, 100k, okay, we're gonna be, uh, I guess we'll do this, 100k, we'll be giving away a set of flares and a set of uh, wheels and our uh, and a wing and a suspension, a whole kit. We'll do a whole yeah, bundle kit. Good. So if you have stock VB and we have 100k, we'll get you a whole freaking set for your VB. But yeah. Like, like, like always, thanks for watching, subscribing, and we'll catch you guys next time.